February 11th commemorates the 29th edition of World Day of the Sick. It's an occasion to devote special attention to the sick and to their caretakers. Thinking about those who have suffered and continue to suffer the effects of the worldwide pandemic, the Pope sent a message expressing his closeness to the poor and marginalized. He makes an invitation to stop and listen, to establish a direct and personal relationship with others, to feel empathy and compassion, and to let their suffering become our own as we seek to serve them. Non sappiamo che cosa ci riserverà il 2021, ma ciò che ognuno di noi e tutti insieme possiamo fare è di impegnarci un po' di più a prenderci cura gli uni degli altri del creato. The Pope highlights that sickness makes us realize our own vulnerability and our innate need of others. Sickness raises the question of life's meaning, which we bring before God in faith. In seeking a new and deeper direction in our lives, we may not find an immediate answer. Questa angoscia nella quale a difficoltà si aggiunge a difficoltà non si può superare da soli. The Pope notes that sickness always has more than one face. It has the face of all the sick, but also those who feel ignored, excluded, and prey to social injustices that deny their fundamental rights. Con la tempesta è caduto il trucco di quegli stereotipi con cui mascheravamo i nostri ego, sempre preoccupati della propria immagine. Abbiamo proseguito imperterriti, pensando di rimanere sempre sani in un mondo malato. The Pope insists that for a therapy to be effective, it must have a relational aspect, which also helps those who care for the sick to accompany them on a path of healing, thanks to an interpersonal relationship based on trust. I pazienti hanno sentito spesso di avere accanto a sé degli angeli che li hanno aiutati a recuperare la salute e nello stesso tempo li hanno consolati, sostenuti e a volte accompagnati fino alle soglie dell'incontro finale con il Signore. That's why he stressed that a society is all the more human to the degree that it cares effectively for its most frail and suffering members in a spirit of fraternal love.